And we are live. I know we're live because on the top left hand corner it says live. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to No Chop There's Live for the third time in the space of a week. I'm your host, Stel, and I'm joined by Roy. Roy No hey. Chop There's. Roy No Chop There's the champion. It's he just chased still the champion. We're one in the money, Adibad. Yes. We're here. We're here. We're just waiting for our guest because we've um, we spoke to him the other day, and he said he needed permission from the club. Um, we have the permission. We're just waiting for him to jump on. He's got the link, and I'm not going to introduce him or name him just yet because I, I want to bring him up on the screen and for everyone to be surprised. Yeah. What do you reckon? That's a good way of doing it, isn't it? We've got two yeah, people is. already in the viewing. Edon Angelo, nice. look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I, you know, I love yeah. the long, long-term long fans of ours, man. They've been backing us from day dot. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It's, so, uh, yeah. yeah, it's all good. It's all good. How's your week been anyway before? Um, I'm just waiting for our, our guests to jump on. Hi, uh, Giriago. Yeah, my 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 week, um, okay, it's Saturday now. So, yesterday was work. Like I said, I'm renovating the flat. So, basically, I don't really uh, – I spend a lot of time – with the house now, uh, this, that, and the other, you know, you've got the plumbers, you've got the builders, the electricians, and all of that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Then, uh, gonna go for an episcopacy to a friend, Yasu Christmas. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, this podcast is the best thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it is, it is. Um... <laughs> We're trying to have fun with this. We're trying to get more people um, involved as much as possible. We're, we're going to try and do more things next season, and there, um, yeah. have more interaction with fans and everything. So it's, it's been it's been well so far, man. Yeah, it's a next. When we say next season is when the season starts, but before the season starts, we're going to have a lot of surprises. We're going to have a lot of guests. We're going to we're open to suggestions, like we said a lot of times. Uh, the fact the fact that we're doing things live now and we're interacting is is helped this as well. I think it's a lot more interesting. Yeah. But obviously, okay, we, we can't do this all of the time because there's um, sometimes that we need to edit and check the things again. Well, this is it. It take it, the editing does take a bit of time because obviously there's some points where you know I might need to go to the toilet or <laughs> something might happen. We might have a technical problem, internet, Jetsi Brahmada, you know what it's like. So it does get a bit of a ball ache, but, and actually we try to release it as quick as we possibly can. Um, and um, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way that things are going at the moment anyway with, um, you know, uh, yeah, so. Nere, it's going to be so so good. We said yeah. before, the, on, the only way is up, right? the only way is up. And it's not because, you know, we, we're big headed or anything. It's because what we're doing, people seem to like it. So, yep. yeah, it's not gone to our heads or anything, but yes. we just enjoy, enjoy doing what we're doing. And since there's more people who enjoy what we're doing, it makes us a pro megali barea. So we must be my barea. Absolutely. Right. So without any further ado, we're going to bring in our guest. I'm not going to say Ooh. his name. I'm just going to bring him up on the screen. Who Here is he? he is. Come on now, you should know who this guy <laughs> is now. <laughs> my brother. Hello, hello, my hello. brother. Look at him. How you doing, my friend? You good? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, absolutely brilliant, man. And Ernest, thank you so much for joining us, man. It's it's an absolute, absolute honor, man. Thank you so much. Good on you, sir, bro. How, is how, you, how you doing? Everything all right? Everything is fine. Came back from training. I didn't have training. 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 What training. sort of training? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, um, just uh, personal stuff, you know. Not too uh, much. The other yeah. guys, just some um, few exercises, and then just for for my knee. So you're, you're, you're taking you're getting light physio at the moment because you haven't had the operation yet. Yeah, I have an operation uh, on uh, Thursday. Thursday, right? And I, are you having it in Cyprus? Or are you having it elsewhere? Sorry. Are you Are you having the operation in Cyprus? No, in uh, Athens. In Athens, in Athens. Okay. 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 Well, look before um, before we talk about your your injury, mate. I remember seeing you in October, 
um, in Cyprus in uh, at the mall, and um, your family hadn't come over yet. Yes. And it was a little bit of a difficult time for you because obviously you you moved from the Middle East to Cyprus, yeah. and you're still getting to know the place. You didn't even know your address. <laughs> 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 but um, you you settled, and I want to take you back to when you first joined the club and all the messages you got on Instagram. Uh, what was that like for you? Did you ever receive anything like that in the past from different clubs? Never, never. It was it was it was so special uh, to receive those. Uh, messages from from the fans it was it was amazing it was a lot of messages but i tried my best to to reply um, as much as i could uh it was it was amazing i couldn't believe it lovely so you made your debut against was it was it legia warsaw you came on off the bench yeah yeah, yeah? so what's the what were the preparations like for you because i'll tell you you didn't have much well, have many training sessions before the game, I, did you? I didn't train with the team. Wow. Yeah. I arrived and then I think the next day uh, we traveled. So yeah, the first training with the team was in uh, Poland. It was, you know, they just uh, pressing for the game. And then I trained with the team. That was that was the first training. But but were you match fit at the time? Because obviously you were you were on the bench and then you came on in the second half, uh, the next time, wasn't it? The next time when you came on. Yeah, uh, no, 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 it wasn't extra time. No, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was extra time. Because we, he was the one who stole the ball. He passed and it to Luis, won the penalty. Won the penalty yeah. and, and then he gave the assist for Thiago for the second goal, uh, second half of stoppage time, I remember. And it mm. was like, wow. <laughs> So what, what, yeah. were the, what was the message from the manager when you came on? What, what was he telling you? Just get down the flank and see if you can beat their fullback? Uh, like you just said, that's exactly what he told me. Um, you know, we needed it. And then he thought, uh, of, of course, he knew I, I haven't had um, uh, trainings for, for some time. But uh, he, knew, he knew what I could do and he just pulled me on. And then uh, I just did my thing. That's great. That's great, Roy. Yeah, I was I was uh, gonna start off with the same uh, question. You know, in the first game uh, against uh, Legia Warsaw, uh, as you know, you okay. It's I don't know if it's fair to say that you came as a as a substitute for a player that you know was a big serial was was gonna uh, happen. Like was like a, a soap opera during the transfer season with uh, David Aguindola, who. Uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he played a few games last season. And uh, Omonia was trying to sign that player and, and they waited almost up until the end of the transfer season. And then you came along and then you, you played that first game and everyone was like, wow, Ernest is amazing. Yeah. Ernest is this. They, they, they completely forgot about uh, Akindola. And obviously the first impression you had was, was amazing. And you explained to us what uh, Mr. Burke told you to do. And uh, you, you gave the pass to Duris when we won the penalty. You gave the assist to Thiago. And all of that was great. So you started off fantastic uh, with Omonia. Then we went on to go to the group stage. But then uh, there was a period of time uh, during October, November, when the team wasn't winning games. And this is something we discussed with uh, Michael as well. We had Lufner on the show a couple of days ago, two, three days ago. And, you know, it wasn't that Omonia wasn't winning the games because we lost once in five games, but it was the inability to create chances as well. And like it usually happens, it's the the attacking midfield line and the attackers who get the the most um, slack when this happens. And then it, it, it changed. Uh, we changed formation. You you played on a uh, on, on the wing like a 4-4-2 as a centre forward. How, how was that? Did you feel more comfortable? Did you feel the pressure in these five games that, you know, we weren't winning? What changed uh, personally? And how did Mr. Berg help all of you or the formation change? You, you just uh, touched about the pressure. It was the pressure was was too much, but then it was also good for us because um, uh, without the pressure, we we cannot uh, do our best, you know. So we got a lot of pressure from the fans, 
uh, from some messages. You know, we got some harsh messages, but of course, uh, they want to win, and of course, we also want to we also also want to win. But then it was it was hard. But then uh, for me, I, at that moment, I felt I felt like um, we didn't know each other very well. You know, so for me, I tried to speak to some of the players, spoke to the coach. Um, the way I, I was playing, it wasn't my style. You know, uh, okay. You no, know, I'm not. I'm not some. I'm not a player who will come and get the ball and then you know dribble everybody. So yeah. I spoke to the players. I spoke to the coaches, and then they were like, okay. We know you, so let's do that. And then we started playing. Uh, of course, we, we kept the ball, or sometimes we keep the ball. And uh, some moment too, we will play long balls, you know, just behind the, the defenders. And I think that will change everything. Okay. And, and, and that style helped you as well because of your speed to get into the pockets of space and, and and use your speed because that was your main att attribute when you came to Ammonia, like your speed. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, a few years ago you were like the third or fourth fastest player in the world. Is that correct? <laughs> I read that stat. No, seriously, I read that stat. No, somewhere no, no, no. I've, I've, I've yeah. It well. yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, it really helped me, but not just me, but also for for the team because uh, we are different kinds of uh, players on the field, and everybody has their own qualities, you know. I cannot give a pass like uh, Yodi will give. Um, you know, he can also not run like I will run. You know, yeah. he can move like I will move. So that yeah. is that thing for, for a team. Ernest, do you think you playing as a second striker with Shepa has helped maybe Loizu uh, develop a bit more? Because when you're on the wing, you're effectively going up and down. You're not moving inside you're not you're practically in one position whereas when you're a striker when you're playing forward you can drop deep which allows Loizo to to move into the the pockets of space as, as Roy was mentioning do you think that positional change for you has also helped other players uh yes but uh, i would say that is uh, the intelligence from the coaches you know they, they look at uh, the other teams and then they they feel like okay if we play this kind of style it will be good for for us, you know, and also good for some other players. And exactly what uh, they did, and I think uh, it gave uh, opportunities to other players, and and, and everything uh, worked. So, yeah. Who who would you say is the most toughest defender you faced so far in in the league? Uh, for me, I I don't like to think up think about the other t other players or other. Um, opponents you know i like to concentrate more on my my team so even if you ask me to to tell you a name of um, an opponent i cannot i cannot tell you mm -hmm. I, but i don't concentrate on them so i just focus on how, how and how the team will perform okay well i know you went through a really good run of form you scored a couple goals at ayek you scored two against the goddess or anorthosi um Garmio Desai, you scored a fantastic goal we went past the goalkeeper um you hit a really uh good run of form but i've noticed that through that time we didn't really make many changes to the the front line um so did that also help with your development and your form yes yes it did a lot uh, for me i feel like the more you play, the more you get the confidence, you know. So I think I, I developed the confidence um, I needed. Um, uh, so it, really, it really helped me. It was, it was good to get the confidence back. And, and, do, and do you know what the funny thing is? I, I'm, I think you might remember this message I sent you because it, I, I went, came back from Cyprus and then your, your wife and your kids came to Cyprus, and then the next ga next game, you had your hair braided. I was like, yeah, your wife's yeah. definitely over, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember you told me this story as well. Where... Yeah. Uh, at that time, I, had, I hadn't seen them for over a year. And then yeah. it, was, it was tough, you know, but I can't, there, was, there was nothing I could do. Just to, just to work and wait for, for the time for them to be here. And uh, they came, and I felt like everything started changing at that moment, you know. When the day they arrived, I felt like everything started uh, changing. 
Yeah, maybe. I had the feeling that would happen. You, you got that settled family there, you know, makes a big yeah. difference. And that's what people don't realize when they see footballers move from different countries and they expect them to play well every single game. There are a lot of factors that determine a player, their, their form. It could be family not being there or they might have personal problems. And that's what we try to explain to people that are watching. You know, it's footballers yeah. aren't robots, they're humans. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, they don't see it as that, you know. But uh, you you do, and I, I I had a lot of chat with you, and you told me a lot um, things that could help me, and I I did those things, and I, I felt like yeah, it was it was really helping me. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't I didn't mean you. Oh. Remember, I spoke about some messages that that sometimes I get and stuff, and you be like, uh, ignore those messages. You know, those are the people who doesn't understand football. And, and it's true. When I started um, ignoring those kind of messages, I started having the peace of mind to to perform on the field. You know, I started enjoying the game. No, no pressure. Of course, uh, there were some games that the pressure was there, but it wasn't as I was reading all kinds of messages. And then uh, I started uh, reading messages from from the nice guys. You know, because mm -hmm. I have some. Um, some people that I even follow them back, that I, I chat with them a lot, you know. When things are good for the team, they send messages. When uh, we are not winning, they also send uh, messages uh, to encourage us, you know, and not support. support. But there were some messages. Um, it was, I don't think it was it was good. If you are, if you say you are a supporter, if you support, if you love the, the, the club, if you love the players, I don't think it's such messages should should be sent to the players. No, no, I think it's sickening, yeah. absolutely sickening. Right. But before before I let, sorry, Karen. I really love it when you when you told me that. I I even told my wife about that. What's that? Sorry. I... When you told me not to reply. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I tell you from experience. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, mate. Uh, before I let Roy ask questions, because I, I feel like I'm dominating at the moment. Um, you mentioned okay. the, you mentioned the word pressure, and there was a very high pressure moment in the Champions League qualifier against the uh, Red Star Belgrade, or as I call them, Gortina FC, um, where you took the penalty, and <laughs> that was you class. you took two steps and you rolled it in the bottom corner. Now, for anyone that w watches that again, it's almost as if you knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going to go. You knew exactly where you were going to put it. It was so composed. Are you always like that with penalties? Yeah, I'm, I'm always like that. And then I think sometimes some people don't understand. You know, but like I was talking about the, some of the fans, um, I'm, I'm a very calm guy, you know? And sometimes, you know, I'm very... It's calm. okay. It's then okay. Kid, put the kid on your lap. Get, get your head up. <laughs> When I score, not the knee, not the knee. <laughs> not the knee. <laughs> you know, like, you know, somebody like Koso, Koso will score and then he will move all around the field. You know, I'm different. You know? I, I just love to, to, to stay at one place and then uh, enjoy the moment with my, my colleagues, you know. And like, I, I remember I received messages from, from someone. They'd be like, you don't show passion, you know. And that is not me. I'm very calm. I cannot change it. No? Well, I, I, I think I'll show you a video which uh, says that you're not very calm. <laughs> yeah. You know, this got 36,000 views. <laughs> And almost 2,000 likes. Uh, I got messages from from uh, from fans of all from teams all over that you know they said you are like Kande that everyone loves him. You say you cannot hate this guy. This guy is, is so people love you so, so much. Likeable. Such a likable yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, from but... Abuel, Abuel fans, Ayel fans, Abolon fans, you know, uh, like messages. And uh, yeah, that that shows that if you celebrated like that in the in the pitch, because I was going to tell you, you scored some really important goals, and like, then you just 
uh, kneel down and, and you pray and, and you seem so calm. It's as if no one is around you. It's as if you're alone at that moment. It's amazing. Uh, I, I know, but uh, sometimes I think about this, you know, why am I not like this when, uh, when I score, you know? But I'm always like this when, we, when my team wins, yeah. you know, see the passion. I can bring the passion yeah. out. But when yeah. I score, yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm used to that. Uh, it's that, that, that is, it's cool. It's cool. Um, so uh, obviously uh, on the celebration when we won the the game against Taek and Apollon drew against Olympiago, uh, you you were probably at home, right? You 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 couldn't be with with the rest of the squad. How did you celebrate that day on on uh, Monday when we became champions? Just that you can you can tell him it was mm. was amazing uh, my whole day the whole day I was just feeling like I couldn't eat you know until the game the whole day I couldn't yeah. eat until the game um, finished you know I was just I couldn't wait for yeah, the so day. I yeah. I was waiting, waiting not just me my wife we were just waiting for for the game to finish or even for the game to start and then for the game to finish it was it was, it was an amazing day Amazing. Yeah, uh, but but you you weren't with the rest of the were you were you in the bus with the rest of the players in the celebrations? No, no. no. We met them. We met them. No, okay. And uh, what are you expecting on Monday against Apollon? I mean, okay. Uh, I don't. I. I I'm pretty, yeah. Uh. I just I wish um, some other players will have the opportunity to to play, and mm. also the younger ones to to taste, you know, the league, you know, and then I'm I'm expecting to see good crazy fans uh, after the game. Actually, they th th there's going to be about three and a half thousand fans on the ground that day, but there's going to be a lot more outside. I think they decided uh, today that uh, they're going to give 3,500 tickets. So some people are going to be in the stands. Not a lot, obviously, because if, yeah. if it was a, a normal day, well, there would have been about 20,000 people in the stadium. And, and I don't know how many other thousands outside in yeah. all of Cyprus. Yeah. So on the one hand, it's a shame. On, on the other hand, at least 3,500 people are going to have the opportunity to be in the stadium, celebrate with the... With the team, you know, when you lift the the championship trophy in the skies, and then the rest are going to be waiting from wherever they are to celebrate with the rest of the team, and um, that's fantastic because uh, you know it's been eleven years since you won the the championship, and uh, boy oh boy, if it wasn't for for, for the coronavirus, they, they were going to burn the island down. I swear to God. <laughs> I received a lot of. From them and then they'll be like just win the league and then we will show you we are ammonia we will burn down the city you know yeah. <laughs> not I, the city the island the island not the city <laughs> all of cyprus oh yeah. <laughs> no. ernest um you know you you got the injury now your acl right and um when when you when you went down the first thing i thought was he's, he's done his acl because of the way that you twisted did your did your uh, boot get stuck in the turf or did you slip uh i get, i think I, I i got stuck um and for me normally when i fall down i just try to stand up as quick as possible but this one i try to stand up and then for maybe like three seconds, I felt like no, this is this is bad, you know. I felt it was it was bad. I I felt something was something was wrong. Because you you were running back to defend, weren't you? And yeah. like I said you you said, and the first thing I thought of was first of all is ACL. The second thing I thought of, what boots were you wearing? What what um underneath your boots were you wearing studs or were they blades? No, normal. Just normal studs, yeah. Wow, 
So that, that surprises me because if, if it was blades, it, it wouldn't have been a surprise because I, I know they can be a bit dangerous, those boots. But because it's studs, I'm, I'm quite surprised. I was surprised that it happened. I, I was very surprised. So how long do you think you'll be you'll be out for, do you know? Uh, they, they said maybe this to eight months, but I will be back uh, Sooner, yeah? Sooner. Well, th this is the thing, because you, um, obviously, you've got a lot of um, good physical health uh, in the background in terms of like, the past. So it's not as if you've had many injuries throughout your career. So that does look good. And it seems that you are at a relatively fit level, especially for someone that's, what, 31, 32? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So, you know, the, the signs are good. And you're going to a fantastic surgeon as well. So... You know, it's not like in the old days when footballers did their anterior cruciate ligament and that was it. They, they had to finish. Now you've got technology that's changed and medicine has changed. So it is looking uh, really good. And for you to be back in less than eight months, I'll be brilliant. Fingers crossed. Thank you. So there um, you go. Yeah, this, Mike, Michael said he, it happened to him twice and he's 26, yeah. 27. Yeah. So... Uh, you, I know you got a lot of support from the fans and your teammates. Uh, how was the, the rest of the Omonia family uh, with you? I mean, I'm talking about uh, the higher level. Like, um, did, you, did you feel all this support from, from the team? Were they next to you? Uh, uh, Mr. Berg, Tarabuluzi, Zlarku, all the medical stuff. And so were they really too much? So much. It's, it was amazing, you know, the kind of um, messages and support. It was, it was amazing. And especially um, when the Marcos scored a goal and then he raised yeah. my head up, it was emotional. I, you, you couldn't watch the game, but I was just sitting here with my wife and then um, she saw it on the uh, ammonia page and it was, it was touching, you know. She, yeah, I'm she, I was, <laughs> I up. Oh, great stuff. Uh, Ernest, can you tell, tell us about uh, Lois or Johnny's and obviously all the other younger players who've had a fantastic season? It's, it's almost as if, you know, they really love the club, but their development has improved so much in the past six to eight months. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, they love the club so much. Like you could see it, you know. And uh, these guys are working hard every time in training. If you see the way they work in training, like after every training, you see them doing their own personal stuff, you know, Luis or Johnny's and other uh, young guys. So it's, it's, I'm not surprised to see them doing um, this amazing. Brilliant. Well, I've got some quick, quick fire questions and I'll, I'll leave it to Roy to ask the rest. All right. I'm going to put you on the spot here, Ernest, right? Who's got the best left foot at the club? It's a difficult one, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. But um, we have <laughs> who is, who is uh, serving us every time. Uh, Jody, amazing. Eric, Luiso, uh, but... Wow. wow. Difficult, isn't it? <laughs> Difficult. All right. Well, I'll ask you a different one then. I'll ask you because that's a little bit unfair. Amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, this is difficult. This and you got a good left foot as well. That, that goal against Ayek, which Mario has just mentioned. The goal against Ayek. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who's who's the best singer? Who's the best singer? You. Hey, you have to sing for us. Uh, you have to sing for us. Uh, no problem. I can sing. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Here you go. And like, come on, come on, come on. You Where choose you, a song. What did you sing you, like after, you, after you Red Star Belgrade? What song did you sing in the dressing room? Uh, I think it was um, uh, Brian Brian Adams. Yeah, is it Brian Adams? 
Yeah, yeah, Bernadette. Okay, wait, wait, do you want to sing that? That was the song I sang the first time I came, I joined the team, and they loved oh, it. The initiation, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go on, give, give, us, give us a few we're, notes, give us a few notes. We're, we're waiting for the karaoke, <laughs> a cappella. <laughs> Uh, this is my my Afro comb, so don't worry. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> like when a woman love, she love for it. Come on. When a woman love, she loves for it. I need my lighter. <laughs> We don't yeah. have Get it. Go, go, go. Uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely. Yeah, that, was, that was fantastic. <laughs> All right. So who takes the longest in the shower after games? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting all these questions from? I think it's no doubt it's me. Uh, it's you again, huh? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's the best cook then? Who's the best cook? Uh, the best cook, I, I'm not sure. I I, I I talk to some of the players, and I think the cook, I, I think Yodi, I think uh, he loves to cook, and Victor, I think he also loves to cook. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, mm. uh, Tiago also. Tiago? I, I went to, and he cooked. It was, it was so nice. It was delicious. My family enjoyed it. It was very good. But he's Brazilian, so they love barbecues, don't they? Yeah. It's all meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just normal. Normal. Really nice. Brilliant. So Okay, so tell me something. Who, who makes the better jollof, though? You or Shehu? Forget about you, man. Get <laughs> <laughs> did this, and I will say it again. Forget about Nigeria. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's been oh, brought. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you have to you have to cut this out and send it to Shehu. I know he will fight tomorrow for sure. I know. <laughs> All right, I've got one more question. Yeah, one more question. What's a better drink, Gaan or Super Malt? Super Malt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, super Malt. Oh, man, I love it. I know you love it. I love it too, man. I love it too, yeah. I, when I come to Cyprus, I'll bring you some. I'll definitely bring you some. They got me in cans as well, not just bottles. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Right. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy, actually. You know what? I just sat back and I, I was watching the thing, and I was like, "Oh, I'm really enjoying the, the, the show." <laughs> and it was really cool. It was really cool. Uh, did you learn to speak any Greek words? You don't want to know. Come on, come uh, on, actually, Mark, I, I, I do want to know. <laughs> we do want to know. The people watching will slap me when they meet. No, me. no, 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 no. No, but. Uh, I know, I know a few words. Uh, agape mo. Uh, agape mo, yeah. Okay. Christo, nei, ohi. Nei, ohi. Um, and I, I, I have this one, but this one, I'm sorry. I can't, when I meet you on the one, I would say, because oh. it's, against, it's against one of the clubs. And then if I say it now, they, they, I know they will. <laughs> <laughs> say nada. Right. Say nada. So I, I will yeah. tell you. What. Deal. Cool. You have a deal, my friend. Deal. Roy, you got any more questions, mate? No, really. I, I, I just uh, like you to say uh, I'm Ernest Desante and you are watching the No Chop This podcast with Stella and Roy. Can you do that? Say one more time. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's um, hi, I am Ernest Asante, and you are watching the No Choftes podcast with Stell and Roy. Hello, I'm Ernest Asante, and you are watching the No Chats 
podcast. It's okay. He's it's watching okay. the No Choppers podcast on podcast. the OLB. It's Ernest Asante. There you go. <laughs> Ernest, <laughs> thank, Ernest you, thank you so mate, much. Thank you so much for joining us, mate. Really appreciate it. And listen, uh, good luck with the recovery. You know, we're always here. We, you know, we're always going to be in contact. And, you know, thank you so much for this season. We, we want to thank every player, and especially you and everyone else that's watching. Because it's been a historical season for the club. We've had so many memories from this season and you've been a big part of it. So thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much also. And I would like to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all the fans and especially you. Because um, you and Roy, I, I, I chat with you guys a lot. You know, I'm down. I, I chat with you. I get messages from you guys. And so I, I feel so positive again, you know. And uh, I hope... Uh, Goosebumps. I hope other fans can learn from you guys. You guys are even when, when when the times are tough, you guys still stay positive. You know, I really hope other fans can can learn that we we need that as a as a club and we need that as a as players. You know, if we, they want us to give give them what they they want, of course we also want to win, but um, we want them to also uh, learn as as you guys are doing for for the club for the players. We really Thank you, brother. Really, Thank really, you. really appreciate it. And uh, will you please dye your hair red, uh, green, red, green, green. green. <laughs> and I saw, a, I saw a red come up here. Am I what's going on here? Uh, I said red. It's green. Green. You see, I'm wearing this. But so dye your hair green. Yes, yeah, you do your hair. Do it on I would do it. It was. I I gave them two promises. You know, either to drink alcohol or to to dye my hair green. And <laughs> lovely thank you brother really appreciate it thank you very much love to the family stay flight for athens and enjoy tuesday uh, monday night i'm getting my days wrong see i'm all over the place no uh, yeah and uh anything you need i'm here in cyprus so if you need anything brother just we're a phone call away we're a message away so anything i can help you with yeah. Uh, I'd be so happy. Thank you again, once again, for being on our show. Thanks again for the championship. Thanks to all the players. We told Michael, we're going to tell any guest we have, we're going to keep thanking them. All the best. And we're looking forward to seeing you soon back with us, healthy. And uh, kisses to the family. Thank you very much. And sorry, one more thing I want to say to the fans. I know my Instagram has been, has been blocked at the moment. And I know there are hundreds of messages waiting for me there and uh, i hope they will watch this and then they should know i will try my best to to reply um as i get my account back Excellent. okay that's Thank good you know. that's brilliant good to thanks right so <laughs> that was the no chuff this podcast was that honest f r is too man <laughs> 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 top man well that was the yeah. No Chop This podcast on the OLB Roy wrap it up Pamesh better product for you Edo Ernest 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 No Chop This Omonia Shilaka Omonia Laos product for you Ernest Que tu la uomada Omonia 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 That's it Ad